In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I have created this kind of 3D cube shapes design here. Then I have put the icons for each option and when I click, it will show you the details of the first option. Then comes the second option, the third option and the fourth option. And if you've not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010, some features may not be available. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle, draw the rectangle by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect square. And then depending on your requirement, how much height and width you need. So I'm just going to make it maybe 2.25, the height and the width, same. And then shape outline, make it no outline and then I'm just going to put it exactly here. Then hold the control shift key and add towards the right you can see here like this and then select both of these shapes again hold the control shift key and drag it at the bottom so you end up getting four uh, squares here right and then select one of the squares press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to uh, give some different color and the height maybe i'm going to give as 1.75 with also 1.75 and then align center align middle now this particular shape i'm going to uh, duplicate four times okay press ctrl d okay this is second ctrl d third ctrl d fourth so let me just select this one align center align middle this also align center align middle and this also align center align middle so these gray shapes now we have added four squares okay so now what you need to do is just select one of the squares in this case the the bottom the top left and hold the shift key select one of the the square here okay then go to the shape format merge shape and just say subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this okay but still you don't see here because still this uh, all uh, are available still three more remaining so now i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract then select this one hold the shift key select this shape and subtract and again select this one i'm going to duplicate one more time just keep it aside and then i'm just going to select this one hold the shift key and merge shape and subtract so you can see here i have got these shapes okay so just control z now and this again align center align middle okay now what we need to do is we need to give some gaps here so i'm just going to put it somewhat up okay and like this can you see here same thing one two three maybe four or three and then like this you can see here all right so you have to give equal gap here all right so you can see here we have done this particular shape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all this shape press ctrl g to group it now let's give a 3d format for this and if you like to change the color you can change it now or later on also so let's do that later on so first let me just select this shape right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects and here go to 3d rotation from the preset i'm going to choose this one which is perspective right so you can see something like this then go to 3d format the depth start giving the depth you can see here how much depth you need you can give that much okay then come down and then we need to just place this one can you see here i'm just moving a little bit more here and this also i'm just going to move it a little bit like this can you see here something like this all right and then once this is done now it's time to give some different coloring so i'm just going to select this the top part go to the effects 
sorry go to the the fill and then select the gradient fill so here by default i've used this color before that's the reason it is coming like this so again it's up to you whether you want to add three stops two stops it's up to you so let me just select one stop go to more colors and i'm going to give some different color combination okay so maybe i'm going to give some kind of a this orange with some red combination okay or a pink or red whatever so it looks something like this and then if you want to change the direction it's up to you whichever way you want the direction all right now i'm going to select this one gradient fill now again some different uh, color combination you can choose i can choose a light pink with dark pink or you can choose a blue also dark blue also that also looks good and then if you want you can just change the direction the way you want okay you can see here like this if you want then here i'm just going to select the gradient fill now i'm going to choose some different color combination now let's choose some light blue with dark blue or this green so you can see a different color combination you can try and then for this again select the gradient fill and maybe i can choose uh, some yellowish color with some green let's try that way so you can see here different different color combinations and you can just choose change the way you want to see this one okay and then the center one you can just choose one color or you can choose many uh, the multicolor or gradient fill so once this is done what you need to do is you can just give some effects also here so go to the 3d format and you can see here the material i can choose this one so it it get more uh, darker at the borders can you see that one so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the icons so go to insert icons and choose any icon of your choice so in this case i'm going to choose one two three some four and five and click insert and move this aside and maybe i'm going to give this 0.5 or 0.6 whatever all right smaller one then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to the effects and go to 3d rotation and i'm going to give this okay and if you want you can just align this one also anyway let's put it here one will come here can you see here it looks something like this and then this one select this and change the color to white if white is not if not visible you can just give some a dark color to the center one all right so once this is done what you can do is you can give some detailed text so go to insert text shapes and select this one which is the freeform shape so i'm just going to click like this and like this double click give some dark gray color and then you can add text here add your text here center align and give some gray color all right so same thing i have to just do for the rest of this one again select here click like this and double click give the same color Control d and put it here likewise you can just do for the bottom also i'm just going to choose this one all right same color line color and then text here and then this is the last one freeform shape control d so you can see here and if you want to add some background effect it's up to you you can add some background effect also 